I was liking it to Truman Show. Have you yeah, seen that movie? Yep. It's a mix between uh, you, the Truman Show and being in a zoo. Prince Harry compares life as a royal to a mix of being in a zoo and the Truman Show. Somebody help me! I'm being spontaneous! The Duke of Sussex opens up about royal life in the latest episode of Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast and says it's a lot like Jim Carrey's 1998 film about a man who discovers that his whole life is a reality show. Let's get off this mask, Shepard. We can't see his face. Go to the cabin cam. Cabin cam. It's a mix between you, the Truman Show and being in a zoo. To illustrate his point, Harry details one of his first public outings with his now wife Meghan Markle, saying they went to the supermarket in London and had to pretend they didn't know each other. So we texted each other from the other side of the <laughs> other side. <laughs> of the the cloak and dagger. And there were people looking at me, giving me all these weird looks, and coming up and saying hi, whatever. And I was there texting, saying, "Is this the right one?" She goes, "No, you want parchment paper." I'm like, "Okay, <laughs> where, where's the parchment paper?" <laughs> the 36-year-old revealed that he first thought about leaving his royal duties behind in his early 20s after repeatedly being told to quote grin and bear his problems and get on with it. I don't want this job. Yeah. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be doing this. Look what it did to my mum. How am I ever going to you know, settle down, have a wife and a family when I know that it's going to happen again? Yeah. Because I know, I've seen behind the curtain. I've seen the business model. I know how this operation runs and how it works. Yeah. I don't want to be part of this. Of course, Harry's mom, Princess Diana, died in 1997 in a car crash after being chased down by paparazzi. I think the, the biggest issue for me was that being born into it, you inherit the risk. You inherit every element of it without choice. Mm -hmm. And because of the way that the UK media are, they feel an ownership over you. You don't have a choice. But then, of course, then people quite rightly will turn around and go, so what if you didn't have a choice? It was privilege. It was only after his now wife, Meghan Markle, encouraged him to go to therapy that he addressed his long-held feelings. She saw it straight away. She could tell that I was hurting and that some of the stuff that was out of my control was making me really angry uh -huh. um, and it would make my blood boil. I think for Harry, who's spoken quite um, emotionally about the, the stress and the pressure of having the paparazzi, he says every time he hears the click of the shutter, the pop of the flash bulb, it reminds him of, of his mother and what she went through. Harry said that feeling helpless is his, quote, Achilles heel, largely due to three moments in his life. One, when I was a kid in the back of the car with my mum being chased by paparazzi. Two was in Afghanistan in an Apache helicopter. And then the third one was with my wife. And those are the moments in my life where, yeah, feeling helpless hurts. It really hurts. Yeah. And that's when you think to yourself, Shit, like, I got the privilege, I've got the platform, I've got the influence, and even I can't fix this. Yeah. I can't change this. And when you start getting in your head about it, that's when it starts sort of taking a toll. But Harry says that therapy helped to change all that. I was like, okay, you're in this position of privilege. Stop complaining or stop thinking as though you want something different. Make this different. Mm. Because you can't get out. Yeah. Mm. So how are you going to do this differently? How are you going to make your mum proud? How are you going to use this platform to really affect change and be able to give people that confidence to be able to change their own lives? Despite Harry's best efforts, he and Meghan announced their plan to step down as senior members of the royal family in January 2020. Their exit was confirmed in February after a year-long trial period. The general consensus is that this divorce has worked. Meghan and Harry left the royal family to become independent, to become financially independent. They have absolutely achieved that this year. They can now look back a year on and, and probably celebrate their decision. Of course, the couple made the move to California and started their own foundation, Archwell. The Sussexes, I think, feel very far away from us over here in the UK. They're, they're in LA, they're putting, they're putting their um, time and energy into really important causes. Living here now, I can actually like lift my head and actually f I feel different. My shoulders have dropped, so's hers. I can't and imagine. And you can walk around feeling a little bit more freer.